Nobody wants to see their credit card information stolen. I'm your Garden City neighborhood reporter, Isaiah Sharp, and I spoke to Garden City police about an incident where that happened, where somebody was shopping at Walmart, but their purchases were coming from this Fred Meyer. On June 14th and 15th, Garden City police were alerted to a crime they rarely see. They go up and down the coast, they do these crimes. Um, they're pretty blatant about it. They're out in the public because they know they're just moving on after they get done or the heat gets on them or we start catching up with them. That crime is electric pickpocketing. Usually conducted in teams, criminals like the ones from Friday and Saturday's offense get near a victim and use a radio frequency identification reader to steal their credit card information. They actually took that card information and transmitted it to another person who puts uh, information on what's called a white card. It's just a blank debit or credit card that they can actually put the information on. Uh, and then they can use that card simultaneously to make purchases. Garden City residents like Chuck Broom, who work less than a mile away from the Fred Meyer where the crime was, says... It's scary. It's disappointing. Um, I mean, I... <laughs> I'm not real great with electronics, so it's it's frightening to know that someone can use something to steal your information right out of your pocket and you're just none aware of it. And then you go to check your bank and all of a sudden all your money's gone. I mean, that's just, that's really messed up. I also spoke with a store manager near the Garden City Walmart who wanted to remain anonymous, who shares similar feelings. It's scary. Yeah, it really makes you think. Um, I mean, you hear about the different traveling groups that come through, but usually you hear more about shoplifting, targeting different retailers, but yeah, this is the first I'd heard about our FID. Corporal Justin Mann saying to be aware of your surroundings if anybody starts to get close to you at a store. We're going to take advantage of situations where you're preoccupied, if you look frazzled, if you're multitasking, um, if you have a lot of stuff going on, if you're alone. They're going to look for things like that that make you an easy target. Corporal Justin Mann also says that if somebody is following you outside of the store, it's your best bet to just turn around and go back inside or find the nearest person because there's strength in numbers. In Garden City, I'm your neighborhood reporter Isaiah Sharp for Idaho News 6.